Uh, then once he has ascertained that there is such a thing as rebirth, the next thing for him to ascertain is what is, how does this thing called rebirth come about? What is the causal relationship that brings about rebirth in a certain way? What is the mechanism here that drives this whole thing called rebirth? And of course this is Kama. This is the time when he comes to understand the laws of Kama because he comes to see that the actions that we do in a particular life will influence how we get reborn in the future. And once he has understood uh, that there is such a thing as rebirth, that there is an endless cycle of existence going round and round, uh, going up and down, now you're suffering, te suffering terribly, now you're happy, now you are average, now you're miserable, uh, and you don't really have control over it. It's just an impersonal law of karma which drives this thing around. Uh, you can't really influence it in the long run, uh, because it's outside of your control. Uh, you are influenced by so many conditions outside of you, you can't do anything about it in the long run. When he sees that, he is ready to turn away from this whole mass of suffering, trying to seek for this thing we call the deathless, going away from death, old age and illness. Because he's ready, because he's had enough of samsara, he's seen the suffering of samsara, of all this, he's able to make that breakthrough. He's able to understand the full extent of suffering yeah, and the freedom from that suffering, the liberation. And he awakens to that truth. Uh, and the awakening to the truth means you understand it uh, and you are also fully liberated from all the suffering. Yeah.